Why Pilates for the spine? Because we can develop the strength in the deep abdominals, which is huge for supporting the spine. We can increase muscle balance, our abs versus our back. So how many of you have seen clients who have stronger back than abs? Yeah, most of the time there's an imbalance there, right? The back muscles are on fire, the abs are kind of, ooh, kind of mushy. And that can happen with age, that can happen after pregnancy, that can happen just because it's easier to access back muscles. So even my runners, have you, if you guys have worked with runners, um, and have you ever tried to do a set, the, the Pilates fives on the mat with runners? They cough out so fast, it's incredible. I'm like, what the heck, you guys are running. Even my ultra runners, you're running 100 miles, you're running a marathon, and you can't hold your abs together for 10 minutes of Pilates mat work. Like, what has happened to you? I had one client in 22 years that, whose back was actually weaker than her abs. And I had to really work on developing her back muscles to counter her abs, which is not the typical pattern. We're going to address and correct posture. We're going to minimize thoracic kyphosis. This. Um, we can lengthen and strengthen without adding bulk. So we get to strengthen without beefing people up. Not everybody wants to be a weightlifter. We can also isolate muscle movements. So isolating muscles, allowing less stress on the spine when the extremities are in motion, right? So learning how to isolate and hold. And then the principles of Pilates are basically the same guiding principles for back stability, which that alone, like I said before, that has the potential to reduce low back pain.